So I have a student who is concerned that because it is taking him or her eight to 10 hours to get through 40 questions in QBank, uh, that he or she is not being time efficient. Okay, that's the concern here. And also the student asks about to what extent he or she should be reading and attempting to memorize and commit the explanations from QBank to memory. So the first point I will make is that eight to 10 hours to get through 40 questions, it is a little on the slow side, but it's not as slow as you think. I've made content on this stuff talking about how six to eight plus hours to get through 40 questions is okay. All right. I know many of you watching this are probably like, really? I can get through 40 questions in like two or three hours. That's great. Many students can't. Okay. So six to eight plus hours to get through 40 questions is fine. Uh, 10, 10 hours for 40 questions is a bit slow, but it can take more time depending mostly just on the student's personality style. It's not even necessarily a function of lack of knowledge as much as it is the, you sort of get OCD personality types where you get students who want to know every little fucking detail. They might be really gunner. They might have a good knowledge base, but it just takes them a long time. And one thing I can comment on is that you need to become comfortable with just moving forward and not annotating everything, not com not converting everything you study into an Anki card, okay? That point in particular is very important because if you are converting everything into Anki, it's a big waste of your fucking time, okay? It's a time drain. So we want you to just read the explanations. If you choose to annotate, be very concise, okay? Very pithy. And six to eight hours, as I said, for 40 questions, not unusual. Don't stress about it. And just read the explanations. Become comfortable with moving on, okay? It's just a mental adjustment. It's a it's a subjectivity that you just need to adjust your baseline for when you're ready to move on. That's that's pretty much it. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.